We took a pause right here behind Independence Hall. This group of multi-faith coalition, they are just disillusioned with what's happening in Gaza, and they're taking that message to the nation's capital. We gather on this day in this sacred space in this city. At the historic Mother Bethel AME Church, a group hopes to send a message using both their faith and their feet. <laughs> but this is not just a march. This is a pilgrimage. This is a sacred journey. This pilgrimage for peace starts in Philadelphia and ends in Washington, D.C. This is happening in 22 countries and 92 cities across the world. All to call for change in Gaza. This is not about Israeli versus Palestinians. This is about our values that make us human. They want three things, a ceasefire in Gaza, the release of all hostages, and unrestricted humanitarian aid. Too many lives have been lost on both sides. A horrendous attack on October the 7th, horrendous taking of hostages, and a horrendous response. The Pilgrimage for Peace is a collaboration of activists, artists, and leaders of many faiths. As somebody of Jewish faith, I am not whole without my Christian brothers and sisters, without my Muslim brothers and sisters. I'm grateful that you all are going on this journey. More than 300 people have signed up to march to D.C. We're picking, passing the baton <laughs> in each city. New folks are joining us in every city. We're calling for a meeting with the president and the vice president and the senior leadership in the White House, as well as in Congress, to urge them to act. Sending a message to the nation's capital that they hope echoes around the world. When we see a the variety of voices already coming together on day one, we can only imagine how this will grow by the time we get to Washington.